Hey everybody, it's another edition of AustinCast.com. We're coming to you from Austin, Texas, and it's Sunday. Beautiful Sunday here in Texas, kind of breezy. It's uh, March 23rd, 2008. Uh, it's it's uh, basketball day, big, big basketball tournament today. Texas is playing right now on the TV, so out of the corner of my eye, I'm kind of keeping an eye on the Texas game here. But we have Florida. We have someone in Florida named Lee on the line, and I'm going to let her introduce herself right now. Go ahead, Lee. Hi, I'm Lee Colbert. I'm here in South Florida. I wish I could say it was a beautiful day, but it's been raining all day, and it's, it's warm, but it's been a miserable rainy day today. <laughs> Too bad about that. But uh, anyway, she, she, I'm, I ran across Lee on Twitter today. Her name is Lee Colbert with a K. And she, her Twitter name is Teach a Kid because she's an educator. And she uh, started using Skype for the first time ever. So this is like one of her very first sessions on Skype. And she's on Twitter and she's on Delicious. And she's, she's figured out a really great Twitter Delicious mashup, which we'll talk about today. But first, Lee, tell us a little bit about yourself and what you do down there in Florida. Um, thank you. Yes, I'd love to. Um, I'm I'm an educator through and through. I've been um, I've been a classroom teacher for 24 years, and uh, for 20 years I've been in the classroom as an elementary teacher, and the last four years I've been at the district level as an administrator. But um, all the years I've been using technology, even before there were computers. Uh, as a teenager, I had a CB radio. <laughs> and um, I used it as the teens used instant message. So my handle was North Star. And um, that was kind of geeky back then. So I guess I was destined for geekiness. Now, but, was, that, um, now, was that your CB ahead. handle? My CB handle was North Star. <laughs> <laughs> breaker, breaker, North Star. How's it looking That's out there, good buddy? <laughs> I had it set up in my room upstairs, and I had this huge <laughs> antenna in the corner, and I would just go into my room, and my parents would be downstairs, and I would just talk for hours with people I didn't know. And, uh, you know, we can't fathom that these days with teenagers, but that's what I was doing back then, and I wasn't doing it alone. So teens really haven't changed all that much, have they? Not at all, <clears throat> no. That's, that's great. So tell us yeah. about uh, Twitter and what, how do you use Twitter? And uh, have, you, have you been to South by Southwest also? You know, I haven't, and the first time I've heard about it is today, but I'm anxious to take some time and explore. Um, first I heard about it was today when you responded to my um, to the interest in how I've mashed up Delicious with Twitter, and um, I'm real excited that you've seen some uses for it in your group. Um, I'm real excited also about how it's grown in that I've, I've been using Delicious just to post my bookmarks and used it for my own use. But recently, I've noticed that there's a networking capability in Delicious, and I've been using Twitter as uh, my personal learning network, and it's been really cool that, you know, Twitter will just kind of get rolling, and there's peak times, and there's slow times, and the couple of hundred people that I follow and follow me would, uh, you know, as there's active times, would just kind of be sending out links to some exciting things that they're finding. Hey, did you find this? Did you see this? Could this really work? What are the applications for this in the classroom? And links would just be flying all over the place. And my frustration was that I just couldn't keep up and I couldn't track all these links, but they were really good. So I would just be trying to sort of keep windows open and writing things down. I have all these papers all over the place trying to, you know, and sticky notes all over the place trying to track these great resources. So it occurred to me that if we have all this in common on my Twitter network, we're probably all also, or mostly anyway, using Delicious. So it occurred to me that why not create a network with all these Twitter users where we can share our Delicious bookmarks. So I just went ahead and figured out what would be an easy way to get people to understand how to use the Delicious networking feature. And I wrote on my blog just sort of a step-by-step how to go ahead and do it, and uh, posted it out there, and sent out a few tweets to people to just go ahead and join, and uh, people started doing it. I was really excited that people were actually listening to me, <laughs> and they did it. <laughs> and uh, personally, I've used it a lot. I've, I've found it to be very valuable. 
Now, now, how does it work? Uh, Give, tell us a little bit about the nuts and bolts of how you mash up your delicious account with your Twitter account and how it's going to serve all these educators, okay? Okay, well, first you need to sign up for Delicious, which costs um, nothing. And so that's really great, of course. What's better than nothing, which I guess would be um, nothing with a rebate, I don't know. But uh, <laughs> you sign up for Delicious and you just start posting your, um, your links. And of course, you need to tag things and that's the uh, important part about Delicious. So once you get a feel for how Delicious works, which really takes no time at all, there's a little uh, link at the top and you see that you have a network and you can add other users to your network. So all you need to do is um, find other users and add them to your network. So what I've asked people to do is just remember the name of the network, which is Twitter underscore EdTech. So um, once you find Twitter EdTech, all you need to do is navigate to the network, or you can just go ahead and type it in, and you just add Twitter EdTech to your network. Once there, you then go to Twitter EdTech's network, and you can see that up at the top as well. It's all very easily labeled. Delicious, delicious is not complicated. It's not cluttered with lots of links and ads and, and lots of, um, you know, distracting things. It's very cut and dry and simple. So what you see then is uh, all the people who are in Twitter EdTech's network. From there, you can click on each of the other users in that network. And the beauty is you then see that person's links as well as the tags. So say you're looking for something on, say, animal habitats. You can click through uh, the links that say animals, habitats, uh, science, um, you know, any of the tags that you're looking for, and you'll see all those links. It's, uh, it's really a great way to, to sort of filter out all the millions of, of resources that are out there on the web, already filtered by people like you who already have the same interests and backgrounds that, that you do. And, yeah, and then at the very end of your blog, which is... Uh macmama.blogspot.com you say leave a comment here with your delicious name and you'll be good to go so all they have to do to get on it is is post a comment in the in, on your blog in the comments section and uh, then I guess you do the rest right yeah actually you know I started out thinking that's how I would it would be best for me to know who wanted to join I asked people to go ahead and leave a comment with their delicious name because, you know, it's kind of like usernames and passwords. Uh, some accept this and some accept those. And most people can't use the same usernames with different services because they're already taken. So if your Twitter name is uh, Geeky Mama, your delicious name may not be able to be Geeky Mama. So it's not always intuitive as to who you are. So I started out thinking, okay, you have to leave a comment and that's how I knew who you are. And a lot of people have done that. But what I found also is that People are just kind of finding Twitter ed tech and adding Twitter ed tech to their network. And what I'm able to do is just go ahead and log in as the administrator for Twitter ed tech, and I can see who has joined the network, and I can just go ahead and add you. And what I've done, since I don't know who you are, is I've just go ahead and clicked on you, take a look at who, what, what resources you're linking to, just to make sure they are educational resources. And once I take a quick scan, I'm, I'm adding you to the network. It's as easy as that. So, yeah, I would love for you to check out my blog, and I'd love for you to add comments. But you can also just go ahead and find us, add your link. And you don't have to be part of Twitter. It's really just about an educational resource. That's great, yeah. And, and of course, I totally stole your idea, and I'm using it for South by Southwest because it's such a great idea. And I imagine other people will do the same thing, and I, I guess you don't, don't mind, do you? That, that's what teachers do. It's not about stealing, it's about sharing. So I'm really, um, I'm flattered that you did that. <laughs> Thank you. Tell us about uh, maybe some of your other hobbies and uh, interests besides uh, education. Well, my kids play ice hockey. So um, I'm all about running back and forth to ice rinks at uh, 5 in the morning and 11 at night and traveling around to um, different ice rinks and going to Florida Panther games and watching uh, the Rangers on TV and uh, that kind of thing. So 
having two kids and a uh, family and being a full-time educator, my hobbies, mostly for personal um, use anyway, are um, doing this Web 2.0 stuff and and really helping helping myself and other teachers to really step out of the comfort zone. And I have to say, I did it today with Skype. I've, I've had the program on my computer for a while, but I've never used it. And I'm so excited that I've actually used it today with video conferencing and talking to someone I've never met before. And Paul, I met you on Twitter today, and this is great. This is really great. Yeah, that's great. You know, but I have some bad news for you, Lee. I've got some uh -oh. very bad news. <laughs> What's Texas that? Texas is leading Miami 68 to 58. <laughs> <laughs> So, I'll deal with it. It's okay. <laughs> so, but there's two minutes left, so there's hope for you. But I don't know. It's not looking very good for Miami, Florida today, anyway. But uh, maybe you're not a big basketball or sports fan. Well, my husband's watching basketball in the other room, and I've heard some yelling coming from in there, so that must be why. <laughs> <laughs> He's probably probably yelling at Texas right now. Anyway. Uh, I'm glad I got to hook up with you, and um, quickly I'm going to go through your websites and let people know. Here's Twitter, your Teach a Kid with two Ds. Teach a Kid, all one word with two Ds. And then uh, your blog is macmama.blogspot.com, and it's M A C M O M M A.blogspot.com. And then uh, Delicious, you are Twitter underscore edtech delicious slash network slash twitter underscore edtech and then also your your own bookmarks are at uh, lee underscore colbert at delicious so it's del dot ico dot us slash lee underscore k o l b e r t and you're not colbert you're colbert so uh, thank colbert. you very much today for uh, joining me yeah final words you know what? Everybody should have a moment like this. This is great. Thank you for having me. This is really, this is really great. Thank you so much. Yeah, it's been great, and uh, we'll be in touch. We'll let you know where to look for your video. Okay. Oh, thank you so much. I'd love that. Thank you. Bye bye now. Bye bye.